Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams and thank you for stopping by the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel. Today I have a mini album to share with you that I created with the Blooming Wild collection by Paige Evans and American Crafts, as well as some Scrapbook.com exclusive items. Um, so I decided that I wanted to make um, a little mini album of photos that I have um, been meaning to scrapbook for a long time that are just kind of about like those little sweet moments that kind of stop you in the middle of the day and um, I guess make you happy to be a part of that of that moment. Um, so anyway, I used this nested two uh, A2 Arches die set. As you can see, there are tons of dies on the set. There's 12 um, arches. I used the largest two to create this album. I wanted something um, fairly substantial that I could put uh, larger photos in. So I think that all the photos in this um, album are three by four. So the title is just Sweet Moments, and I used a die set from scrapbook.com with the combination of these pink letter stickers to create the title, and then I just embellished it with embellishments from the Blooming Wild collection. So I love this uh, teal border, and I wanted to have that paper as my cover, but as I got building, um, my layers and my title, it just wasn't going to work and make things stand out like I wanted them to. So I took this, um, another piece of like a white kind of a linen or grid pattern paper and cut that out in the next smallest die and stitched around the edge with some bright pink thread. So here's the first page. Um, on each of these pages, there will be each two-page two spread. Um, I wanted to keep this album simple um, and at the same time leave a lot of room for um, journaling and large a large photo. So on this side, I've got a 3 by 4 um, photo. And then over here, this was actually a really um, large die cut and I didn't want the whole thing on that page because I wanted room for my journaling. So I trimmed off the edges and that's actually what I used over here to embellish this page. And then I added this um, rainbow sticker and this sticker that says here and now. Um, all the journaling in this album is um, there, it's all printed on vellum. So here is another three by four photo. Over here, I used the DIY pockets die from scrapbook.com to um, create some a journaling pocket. Um, my kids are older and, you know, they don't want a lot of their story uh, shared. So I wanted to make a spot with some um, more private journaling for them. So I did that there um, on that tag and then just a title right here that I thought sweet um, because my son was was helping my daughter. I also added a bit of hand stitching in this album. Um, not a ton but I love to add that little bit of hand stitching. So Right here, I just stitched around the die cut using um, the chain link stitch. Uh, again, I've got that three by four photo. I laid the title of this one um, over top of this kind of negative part of the photo where there really wasn't going on, it, anything going on except for those cement um, steps. I added some uh, colorful stickers here from the sticker book the Blooming Wild sticker book because I wanted to, um, there was a lot of color over here and I wanted to bring that color over to this side of the page as well. Um, you'll also notice around each of the pages, I went, um, I used my sewing machine and white thread to stitch around the edges of um, each of the pages. So again, simple with a three by four photo, um, journaling printed on vellum. 
that you can kind of see there and then just adhered to this um, journaling spot just a very simple title and two embellishments over here a um, photo of my dad um, giving my daughter a hug um, so here we have the most um, the most hand stitching that I did in this album and it really only took I would guess probably an hour and a half maybe two hours to just do um, a chain link stitch along each of these scallops. Um, I should mention too that most of or a lot of these papers came from the 6x8 paper pad so that I didn't have to cut into an entire sheet of 12x12 12 12 paper. The journaling on this one, initially I had thought about putting it right here and then when I kind of typed out my journaling and realized how much I had to say, um, I created a pocket over here um, so that I didn't cover up the hand stitching but that I still had that whole story um, about my nephew and his um, bottle of Gatorade there. Uh, there was still in plenty of room to tell that story. And then here on the the last page, again, three by four photo, I did add a little bit of ribbon on this one. I just wanted um, a little bit of texture, but I wanted to stay um, pretty close within this like purple and pink um, color scheme. So I just added some velvet, like rickrack ribbon, a couple of stickers down here. And then this is a journaling spot from the Blooming Wild collection. Then just a little bit of embellishment, a bow at the top of the tag I thought was um, a fun way to add that pop of pink and a little bit of texture. And then here on the back is just pattern paper. I, I will mention too that I did put some eyelets here, some flower shaped eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers uh, on the front and back cover. Um, also the front and back cover are um, made of chipboard. I did not cut chipboard out with the dies. I didn't want to risk um, ruining my machine or my dies. So I just traced around uh, the pattern paper that I had cut out with a pencil and then cut it out with a, a pair of heavy duty scissors. So anyway, there's more information on this cute little album over on the scrapbook and cards today. Um, blog. The link will be down in the description box below. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to the Scrapbooking Cards Today YouTube channel. I will be back soon with more videos as well as other designers from our design team. Thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you again soon.